at the Toyota plant, and there's R.J. Corman uh, shoving in a cut of cars in the marshaling yard uh, to be loaded with uh, Toyotas. They make the Highlander, Sienna, and Sequoia here in uh, two plants. So I think that's an SD40 um, that they usually keep here, but very, very difficult to ever get a view of this engine unless you catch it right here under this overpass. Now he dropped off uh, one cut of cars, and pulled back. These are all empty as he's shoving into the plant. So he pulled back, now he's shoving in another cut of cars. I made an announcement here at the Toyota plant today. They're going to be building uh, two new models coming up. Uh, the governor was here for the press release and um, almost like $800 million investment, 1,400 more jobs. That's a really big plant here. I think they can make 420,000 vehicles a year here now. It's SD40-2, you can sort of tell by the porch on the back. Alright, so he's going to stop, uncouple that cut of cars, and he'll pull up and he'll push in some more empties. I'm not going to film that. I'm back over at uh, Gibson County Coal. It's actually Wednesday evening, so today uh, they're loading the Norfolk Southern coal train because this loop ties into both railroads. Uh, if I come up there and I'll try to zoom in, uh, I don't know if you can see those coal cars in the distance. Uh, basically, the loop ties in over there to Norfolk Southern, and it ties in to the left over here to CSX. So. Um, they got a pretty good setup. <laughs> they can uh, they can load you know to, to two railroads. Another thing I want to talk about real quick is these auto racks have been sitting there since Sunday, uh, at least with no engine attached, and they're blocking this crossing. I just can't believe the county is letting them do that. This is a busy road. I mean, this road connects to the old route uh, 41 through here and goes to the high school. It's a real shortcut. Uh, so um, there's a siding there and CSX has just parked those things there and uh, I guess no one knows what to do about it. So maybe they're going to have to put a county ordinance in or something, uh, but they've been blocking this road for at least four days now. So I'm going to go over to the depot and see what I can see. Hi guys, as you can tell, we got a train coming. CSX northbound. Raining pretty good, so I'm actually standing on the platform of the Wabash Caboose by the depot to stay dry. Lines offers are pretty cool. That's a couple survivors, seaboard system, and a testing.
me. I don't know if you've ever seen three DPUs on a train. These cars do appear to be full.